So this is me in the morning. This is the day after I had my hair blown out. And right now I'm just uh, kind of separating out my hair. The key to... Okay, so a lot of this is me flat ironing. So if you um, just want to get to the flexi rod part, I highly suggest fast forwarding uh, to the minute marker that I'll post below here. And that is where the flexi rods will start. The key to flat ironing your hair and using these flexi rods is that you want to use less hair um, per section. It just makes it a lot easier for the heat to actually, you know, straighten your hair a little bit better. And when we get to the curler section, it actually sets for a more defined curl. Now this is the Beyond the Zone Smooth Criminal Blow Out Balm. I picked this up at Sally's. Um, all it is is a heat activated formula which um, you can add to your blow dry routine. It dries faster and it helps to prevent like split ends. It provides a lot of shine and super smooth results. Uh, this is something that before you blow dry or before you flat iron, you'll want to put it on your head to act as a protectant. Another really great heat protectant that I think start using later is the Tresemme a Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. That's something that is great to use after you've blown out your hair and when you are working a um, heat product through your hair, whether it's a blow dryer or a flat iron. And that flat iron, uh, that I believe was just like a Revlon or Conair flat iron that I was using. This one's a little bit bigger, so I was able to grab a larger chunks of hair. And I, oh, that was just a really good smooth flat piece <laughs> that I was getting. I didn't have any hair clips, so I was using scrunchies and hair binders to just um, kind of keep my hair separated. And this is just to create a nice flat canvas so when we start to use the flexi rods, um, just the heat of the hair, it'll hold the curl better. Uh, you could definitely work it with the hair already as it is, but I just like to kind of freshen it up a little bit. Uh, between each day, I was using the, um, I think it's a Paul Mitchell dry shampoo just to freshen up like in my roots and my hair. So this is just, yeah, I sped it up here. Um, more flat ironing, more sectioning. It definitely does make a difference.
so we are in the home stretch. I just continued to flat iron my hair out to create a nice canvas to start using the flexi rods. Now, with the flexi rods, I'm going really fast in this section, uh, but I'm telling you, there's so many. <laughs> it's just unreal. Um, it definitely pays off, though. Now, flexi rods you can pick up at Sally's or like Earth's Beauty Supply. A lot of ethnic type stores uh, carry these. This is a great heatless way to curl your hair, and it creates a nice like beachy wave and if you're already flat ironing it and blow drying it it's a nice way to give your hair a break um, however sleeping with the flexi rods is interesting <laughs> to say the least okay so with these flexi rods I'm basically just starting from the bottom and working my way up it's a lot easier to grab and separate your hair when you are kind of you know taking away some of the bulk at the bottom and working with less. Now the uh, size that I'm using is 10 and 11 inches which is good for like that beachy look and then at Sally's I picked up a pack of I think theirs were like 9 by 10 a little bit smaller they were thinner but it was nice to create um, you know like smaller ringlets throughout my hair so with the flexi rods, similar to flat ironing, a smaller strand of hair is always going to be better. And you'll want to create a kink on the side of one of the rods, like an L, and that's going to be one of the locks, yeah, one of the locks of hair. Okay, sorry, that was so speedy. I was like taken back with what it looked like. Okay, <laughs> I'll slow down on this side for sure. So. When you are straightening out your hair, I'm sorry, when you have straightened your hair out and you're ready to get your flexi rods on. So depending on your hair type, it's going to matter when it comes to how you blow. Okay, so I slowed it down for you and now I'm going to use the flexi rods on the opposite side of my hair. And when it comes to flexi rods, the smaller the piece of hair, the better. I can tell I'm using a pretty big piece here, but I feel like at the time it was kind of for one of my back pieces that would be underneath other curls, so I wasn't as focused on using a super tiny rod or breaking it into too many small um, sections. Yeah. I had a wine break too. <laughs> Flexi rods, like it definitely does take time. I've seen some videos where girls use like 64 rods, which is like crazy. I can't even imagine that many rods on my hair. I believe I'm almost to like 25 on my hair when I've been breaking it into really small sections. But it's also given me some knots on my head because it's hard to sleep overnight and it's hard to like pretty sleep <laughs> when you're tired. So it's definitely something that I like to do on a special day. And as the curls loosen up, it really creates a beautiful look. Okay, so the key to the flexies is making the one side of the rod locking it down so it's like a 7 or an L or a hockey stick, however you want to remember it. And you lock it into like an S shape. And what that does is that's what's setting the curl. That's what's locking it in. If you use a curler, that's like the pin on the curl. So you want to grab a smaller chunk, bend your flexi, start at the corner nearest the the kink that you made and you just start rolling it up like a little fruit roll up like a little rolling pin and sometimes you have to if it doesn't feel right if it doesn't lay quite flat just go ahead and reset it because it's just the worst when you set all your hair and then you realize there's one that's maybe pulling too hard on your hair yeah, and definitely do not let these pull on your head. If you feel one that's super tight, just 
go ahead and re-roll it so it's more comfortable because sleeping with these overnight, it definitely did make me kind of crabby in the morning. Okay, hey, that's like okay. Yeah, that one, I was probably getting tired. Okay, so you just got to keep rolling and going and locking it in. And you can tell how the way that S shape, it locked right into the flexi right above it. So we're almost there. I can feel it. We're almost there. Okay, so I have like four or five left. All right, so I sped it up since I am in the home stretch, and this is just a lot of small pieces to really create that like full body towards you, the root of your curl, like of your hair on the top. This will help to give it a little bit more volume. So I am building the flexi rods up, and also when you're rolling, the key is going to be you know, kind of curling the rods and setting them in a way for how you want your hairstyle to look. So if there's a certain part that you want in your hair, you know, make sure that you're setting that with the curl because it's going to give you an even better look. And on the top of my scalp here, you can see how I'm setting them up. And those are pieces that will go towards the back of my hair when it's flipped in the morning. So it's awesome to just, this was a naughty little flexi that wasn't setting comfortably. So I am going to reset it with a smaller rod. Now this is a difference. The top one is the 10 by 11 inch. The bottom is the nine by 10 inch. You can tell they are significantly different in sizes, but for certain areas, if it would make more sense to have a smaller rod or a tighter curl or if it's just not setting comfortably then go ahead and change the rod out so it, it can be nice to get different sizes just to play with the shape of the curl and I have a little piece that was sticking out so here is a slowed down version essentially I'm just starting with the fuller piece and winding it around but as I wind it around, I want to use the fuller part of my hair to lock in that little missing piece. Oops, so that was a little piece that was out, but I'm just going to try and tuck it in. There. So here's the back. And there's the front. All that rotting finally pays off. So this is, so this is just a hairnet and a um, head wrap, just a scarf that I picked up. The hairnet I picked up at Sally's. It was like two or three dollars, and this was awesome to lock in those flexies, especially for overnights. It also helped to reduce any extra frizz or friction from, you know, just sleeping and moving around. So it was definitely a great purchase to use. You honestly could even use it if you probably wrapped your hair without flexies. And that is the Beyond the Zone a Smooth Criminal Line Humidity Control Spray. It was awesome to use at night just as an extra barrier uh, for any frizz. And I sprayed that on after the net but before the hair wrap. Now I'm by no means am, like a queen of wrapping scarves but all I did was kind of wrap it around from the back to the front, tie it together and kind of made sure I focused on wrapping the net as I went so I didn't you know tie it all up and realized I didn't even cover everything. And there's kind of that extra piece on top that's open. I tried to tuck it in, but sometimes it just wasn't locking into place. So I just tucked it into my head to help soften from the nets. And then, yeah, I just pulled that extra piece down as like an extra little barrier and tried tucking it into an open piece. 
Oh, and then I ended up just grabbing a little bobby pin and pinning it down. Good morning, so this is me in the morning. I got ready, I took a shower, did my makeup. Um, I used a shower cap in the shower, that's what that was. <laughs> and now I'm taking off the hairnet. So this is what it looked like first thing in the morning. I did have a couple of loose ends last night, so I'm not surprised to see those extra frizz little pieces. But let's start taking out the flexi rods. So similar to how I rolled from the bottom to the top, I'm going to start by taking out the rollers from the bottom to the top. It just makes it a lot easier and then the curls will naturally lay how they will. And now look at how tight of curls I'm having. This is without any type of hairspray. Now I do have the humidity control spray in which is acting as a very um, gentle holding spray but it really is all that you need, especially if it is not too humid. And it is a nice alternative to using a harsh hairspray. Or, you know, like more heavier hold hairspray to sleep with. Nice and springy. So this is kind of that front piece that we rolled towards the back. It's making a nice soft curl. Now on this side, I started from the top to the bottom, so you can tell how it gets a little bit trickier when you're doing it that way, but as long as you can get them out, you're all set. And now these are super tight curls, so you'll want to take your fingers um, this is a little bit of the dry shampoo I'm just using because I hadn't used it yet. Um, and I'm just spraying it on my roots and just trying to pull it through my hair to freshen up the curls. And this is helping to loosen my curl a little bit. Uh, this is some argan oil. I'm just putting a little bit of this towards the um, roots of my hair, like the very bottom and then the very top, just to give my hair a little bit more moisture and to help cut down some of that extra frizz and I'm just loosening up those curls. Now this is a little bit of Orbe Super Shine. This is such a luxurious cream. It just makes me feel so glamorous. It's a great uh, hold for like flyaways and just kind of freshening it up. I had used a little bit too much there but it just adds a nice shine overall to uh, your whole hair. And I'm using a little bit more of the Smooth Criminal just to help fight the humidity throughout the day now that I've been touching my hair. And so sorry about the coffee cup. I absolutely love Flexi Rods. This is such a great alternative to using any type of heat product, um, curling iron, blow dryers, flat irons to curl your hair, hot rollers. Especially in summertime, you can be a total beach goddess Aphrodite in her seashell bikini with these awesome curls. I just love it. It definitely is the best way to curl your hair and so easy.